Hello YouTube. What's up? Uh, this is the Minecraft player DD here. Today I'm going to show you guys my review for this National Weather Service Radio Shack radio. Um, see it's red. I actually got this as a Christmas present. I don't hardly ever use it because it's kind of scary because you know you never know when there's going to be like a little weather alert or something. You know how those things always freak you out. But anyway, let me go ahead and show you. So you actually got okay, let me just turn this over. Oh, sorry about that. But uh if you look right here, we got a WX tuning. Uh if you hear stack you can just like change it. Sometimes stations go down. Right here we got a volume setting. Uh, to make it louder, quieter. So yeah, let me show you guys the batteries. Okay. It takes four double A's. You can probably tell right there. It takes four double A's. Just a minute. Temperature Okay. Okay, so right here you got yourself this antenna. Um, just give you guys a view of it. Alright, so you got yourself right here the this nice little push this. it was sunny. The temperature was eighty two degrees. At Monroe, it was mostly sunny. The temperature was eighty three degrees. Elsewhere in North Carolina, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny. It was eighty one at Hickory, eighty two at Shelby, and seventy nine at Statesville. Greensboro reported 81, Fayetteville reported 86, and Asheville reported 80. In South Carolina, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 82 at Greenville Spartanburg, and 83 at Charleston. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 81 at Greenwood, and 84 at Columbia. Once again at 3 p.m., at the Rock Hill Airport, it was 84 degrees and sunny. In Charlotte, it was 83 degrees and mostly sunny. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for northeast Georgia, Piedmont, North Carolina, western North Carolina, and upstate South Carolina for this afternoon and tonight. Hazardous weather is not expected at this time. And now the extended outlook for the period Saturday through Thursday. A low-pressure system over the lower Mississippi River Valley Sunday will slowly lift northeast and cross the Appalachians by Tuesday. A deep fetch of Gulf moisture ahead of this system. Yeah. I thought this is a present for my granddad who lives in Florence, so it might not be available at your local radio show. I bet this thing's like about $20. Uh, I will be getting an Arduino soon, and um, I'll be showing you guys a review of this. So thanks for watching, and this is the Minecraft Player DD. And if you look over here, we got this is actually some clay that I made. This is actually my it's right for Logan. Um, maybe we'll actually do like a review together. And there's me. Hey. Alright, so thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And for questions about this device more, please go ahead and just put it in the comments, you know that place. Isn't you know, it's the best place of all. Thanks for watching and subscribe.